Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the Plapper Platypus of the name. And today we're going to do a unit review for Dorothea, the new unit just added to the Sacred Blaze Guidance. Now, one thing to note, I have taken a couple months of break from the game. I am back now and going through it, but I uh, there is a chance that there is going to be some characters that you could compare this to that I don't, I'm not familiar with. Uh, there's been a lot of banners that I've missed. And so I don't have as much game knowledge as I did before, but I still think that I have enough to make an accurate review of a unit because I do have some of the best units in the game in Alpha and Ethereum and things like that. So I, I kind of know like what the upper power level of units are. Um, and I know what the lower power level of units are. So I still think I'm qualified. Anyway, now that I'm done undermining myself, let's go ahead and take a look. First, we're going to look at the awakenings here for Dorothea. We already know, but I kind of want to see what her accessory is for the whales. 60 physical attack, 40 crit, 400 HP, polearm 15% very boring very 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 boring not bad but it's boring it's not very good but anyway ultimate here we go <laughs> all right deal physical polearm damage to a single foe 600 very boring very 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 boring this is the exact ability fiora has um but it's you know obviously with polearm instead of swords so it means it's probably a little bit weaker but coverage i guess whatever um all right let's take a look at the passives these are going to be the big ones at full HP, raise polearm damage of entire front row by 15%. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Front slash all. At full HP, raise polearm damage of the entire front row by 15%. I'm actually not sure. Someone's going to have to let me know. Is this... Is this work if she's in the back row? Or does she have to be in the front row? It says front slash all. It doesn't say while she's in the front row. It just says at full HP. So I think that this might increase the front row. This seems like a wonderful unit for these job towers that are coming out. When you have to use all merchants, that's an insane buff for the entire front row. And also passive HP restoration is really good, actually. These are both good passives. I mean, 100 HP is kind of bad, but it's like, it's something, you know. I assume it's 100 HP. Potency 100 probably means it's 100, right? Um, that's typically how it's been. At least with SP, it's 100%. So... Um, that's how it is. So this is kind of not that good, but I mean, it's, it's like, it, it's better than some, I suppose. I wish it was a thousand. That'd be broken, but I don't know. Maybe like 500 would have been really good, but still whatever. Um, I really like that polearm attack boost. That's really good. All right. Let's take a look at her abilities here. Uh, polearm damage of single foe two times that deal elemental fire damage to a single foe that, um, mighty charge physical polearm to all foes. It's actually got a potency of 150. That seems kind of high. I guess it only hits once though, so not really. Um, deal elemental fire damage to all foes, whatever. Torch, Scorch, same thing. Trade off. This is a cool, interesting ability. A couple of these interesting abilities. Deal physical polearm damage. Potency of 260, but you take up to 15% damage of your max HP. So no matter how much HP you have, this will deal a percent of your max HP. But still, um, it's so good to have, it seems like, a lot of HP on her just in general. That way she doesn't die after she hurts herself. Deal, But then again, then your HP passive is going to be less good. It does, still, more HP is probably good. Deal physical polearm damage to a single foe, 230. So you're losing 30 potency, but you don't hurt yourself. So you're probably going to use trade-off, I would guess there. Steer elemental fire damage to a single foe, eh. All right, so not that. She has some fire, but it's, it's pretty bad. Especially because elemental attack on merchants is already pretty bad. Deal physical polearm damage to a single foe three times. Okay, we've seen that many times. Or we've seen, like, I think this is just a bad version of the one Tressa has, right? She has the swift trifold thrust, which just lets her go first as well. Um, Reckless exchange. Here we go. Her ultimate super ability. Deal potency of 290. So this is now straight up. How much potency is it? It's 60 additional potency over the peerless strike and 30 more over the trade off at without any boost either. Um, but take up to 20% damage of self. So she's really good at probably having a super nuke. I feel like this is a just a good ability for now. It doesn't seem like broken, but it does seem pretty good. What is a... Uh... Oh, this is the other characters that are on the thing. All right, that, that's not what we care about here. Um, so overall, how is this character? This character seems reasonable. Now, this is not an adept level character. This is... This is not a character that's as good as that, but she seems like pretty good. Um, I do believe she's gotten a little bit of a buff from the JP version. I think she used to hurt herself a bit more. And now they kind of lower, they, they increased her healing 
to be go up from whatever it was to 100 and now i think you do probably five percent less damage so instead of 20 and 25 you do 20 and 15. so is that a huge deal no but it's something the potencies are pretty good trifold thrust is fine but really where i think this character's 100 percent of her worth is is going to be right here in that first passive skill at full hp raise polearm damage of entire front row if you have a a bunch of merchants that you really want for a fight this is going to be the best character in the game to have as one of your eight um no doubt about that that is insane very very good 15 percent is huge for a whole party she has to be at full hp so you can just leave her if she could just keep her in the back if she loses full hp if she has to be in the front and she loses it to an aoe much worse much worse of an ability but if it works how i think it does and it if she could be in the back and have it work then it's insane if she can, has to be in the front you could still make it work and it could still be good but you're gonna want like a um the thing is merchants are slow so merchants usually go after enemies but you're gonna want someone like an apothecary to give regen on everybody and then um at the end of the turn everyone heals back up to full and then you can go before and get that 15 percent boost before you lose the hit again so um i don't think she's an insane character but i do think that uh, that passive is really good and there's no doubt that she's gonna have some insane damage with this potency but she is gonna when you use this you are gonna lose the uh the passive right so this is gonna be more like you're either gonna use her as purely a passive or you're gonna use her as a damage dealer uh, and while she's at full HP, she still will get that 15% damage from the Reckless Exchange. Um, but yeah, not much else to say about it. Pretty cool character. Um, I'm not going to be pulling for it, but if you want to, I think it's reasonable. But I would probably I would probably pass still. I'm going to pass. I probably recommend that you pass. But if you really, really want a badass merchant to support an all-merchant team, there is no one better. Anyway, much love for Platypuses, for Platypus. I will see you in the next one. Peace.